What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another review. And it's this week's The Book of Boba Fett, Chapter 5, The Return of the Mandalorian. And this, this what was I waiting for. This was the best Star Wars in a while. I mean, season one, season two of The Mandalorian. There are so many episodes that can come close to this, but this was just amazing. It was excellent in so many ways. Now, there is a bit of a negative to it. I will get to that at the end, but let's start with the most positive, The Mandalorian himself. It was such a pleasure to watch him again. I mean, that lore, I think the setting that he has and the story behind all of it, that's what really, really elevates this character. And when this episode starts, it starts with a, an amazing, an amazing fight scene. And I was like, ah, I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. And there was a bit to it that I was like, okay, why is he so slow? He, he, he's better than that. And then they got to it like later. They explained that. I was like, ooh, nice. Now that's some nice touch. And they also went actually into the lore of the Darksaber itself and where it came from, what it is in a way and how and what it means to the Mandalorians. That was great. And the best thing about this episode, pacing was just right. It never let down. There, the dialogue, the comedy, there was, you know, sprinkles of funny stuff in there, but it was just balanced out right. You never felt bored. And I think that was the greatest, the greatest thing about this episode is that compared to the Boba Fett part of the season, this episode just knew where it had to go. It never let down. It never slowed down. Even when there's dialogue, you want to hear the dialogue. You want to listen to it. You're really intrigued by it. It never let down in its action, in its either comedy touches, and its uh, the setting itself. It never disappointed this was some of the best Star Wars ever. Again, I'm going to say that. I'm going to keep saying that. And also, they went down the memory lane. There's an introduction of a ship. I'm going to call it a ship. And I was giggling throughout that sequence. And they basically modded up. That whole sequence is beautifully done. And then the first fly through, it literally goes down some old roads, if you want to call them that way and i'm gonna leave it to you to watch it no spoilers there but that was just beautiful this was some beautiful star wars the special effects were roaring at no point i was like well that's cgi and they did an amazing job and it just comes down to show you that the story that they have for the mandalorian is just more intriguing I'm not saying Boba Fett is not an intriguing character, but the story that they had for him, just on Tatooine, and that's it. It just feels that it's, he's just there. I mean, there were aspects of that story that were great, but it never went to those heights that the Mandalorian did, and that's the reason I was so in awe of actually watching him throughout the episode. And that's the other thing. This was not a Boba Fett episode. There was no Boba Fett in this episode all the way through. This was a Mandalorian episode. And it really felt like they literally took it from, I think, season three and put it here at the end or something happened because it was, it was like it was supposed to be in a Mandalorian. From what it looks like, it definitely felt like that. So that's the negative part of it, that the whole show up to now was so different in its pacing and its setting that when a Mandalorian episode literally comes into the middle of a Bob Fed series, you're like, well, that is completely different. And then you kind of beg the question that maybe Bob Fed as a supporting character or even like a main character within the Mandalorian setting probably would have been better instead of him having his own show. 
And that's kind of my take on it. I think that probably would have been better. I mean, I'm only saying it based on the story that he got. If the story was better, I probably would have been saying something different. But based on what he has and the story he has, I think it would have worked a lot better than the pacing would have been so much better if they were like showing the whole of like Mandalorian characters and where they're going. I think that kind of a show would have been so, so, so good. But as for now, this episode still is a 10 out of 10. This was some great, I would even call it cinema. It was amazing from start to the end. It never let down. It never bored me. It always knew where it was heading and it was just done right. So what did you all think about this one? Are you excited based on what you saw today or are you about to see it because i do think you should check this episode out if even if you haven't uh been into the boba fett series this was some great so leave a comment below let me know and on that i want to say thank you for watching thanks for all the support if you like these kind of casual reviews there are a whole lot of others on the channel please go have a watch and yeah take it easy take care and i'll catch you all soon until then ta-da take care